Hey everybody and welcome to Death State. So, a lot of you have been asking for me to play this game since like October when it came out and then with it being on the NLSS the other day, the Northern Lion Live Super Show, like the amount of people that asked me to play this has gone up tenfold so I thought fuck it, I'll get the game and actually play it since it's on sale. And I like it, I've done a run, I've done one run there, I've only done one run in total and I got to like the second world and it was fun. I enjoy it, I enjoy the way the game is so I think we'll do at least one or two or maybe three or maybe more videos, I don't know, but we'll try it anyway so play game. And um, I guess we'll start a new save, maybe, so we don't have any unlocks or anything. So th this is basically all that I've done. I beat the first world. That's that's it. We'll do a new save. Fuck it. We'll do a brand new. So three weeks ago, Professor Eilenberg went missing from the Miskatonic University campus. He was my mentor. Of course he was. Yesterday I received a cryptic message from him asking me to meet him at the library. Could he have returned? Perhaps he sent you a message, of course. Maybe he did. In his message, he mentioned something strange about his research on the death state. I must find him. I wouldn't go in there if I were you. But I know already not to go in there. Tis bad. My god, the light! Ah, what's happening to me? Is what you would say. If that situation had arisen. Travelling. Yes. So, in here somewhere. So, move with the sad. Do things. So, you move with the... With, with, right, so. To explain. <laughs> it's a roguelike roguelite game where you move around but you don't actually aim at it, it's like a single stick shooter instead of it being a twin stick it's like a single stick so you basically move around with, with sad you dodge with your direction keys you're up down left and right and you can use abilities with QE and R which will appear down the bottom left but um, but you can't aim it like auto fires on everything which is actually really cool it's quite a relaxing experience you've got you know your view items things these will all be empty because I've done nothing so far and you go along Pick up item, uh, items as you go. The items kind of remind me of um, Dungeon Souls a little, and how they affect your your character and how the game plays out. There's some really cool things though, like you don't select a character at the start of the game. I won't really talk about characters actually, we'll just do it as we go along. We'll just go and play the game. You are so new. How long has it been since there was something new? Like five minutes since I last played, but you know, we'll, we'll start again. So, the Fortress of Koth. So as you see, we auto-fire these pink balls of pinkness, I'm not really sure what they are, the pink energy balls we fire, and we auto hit things, we use dash, the dash I assume, I I'm pretty sure it is, but I can't be 100%, I'm pretty sure it gives you iframes when you dash, so if something shoots it, you just, you know, dash around and stuff, and we have one ability, it's our Q ability, which shoots out these pellets, which will recharge over time, you'll see down the bottom left, you'll see the thing, and it has an audio cue for when it's fully charged, which I like, like right there, Instantly charged, and there we go. Very good, solid play. So we're going to be looking for items. Items are what maketh the game good. It's the items that I like. There's all sorts of shit. There's swords and axes, and it all affects the way you shoot. It's very good. Uh, the levels are timed, I think, to an extent. I don't know what the time is, but once you get past a certain point, the level starts to, like, fucking... There's this big, dark creep that comes from the bottom to the top, and it damages you if you stand within... You know, your typical kind of Spelunky Ghost-esque mechanic. Keeps the game fast. Pick up money, pick up the gold bars to spend in shops. That's pretty much the basis of the game. We're just going to go and, you know, the game right now is easy. It'll get harder as we go through the levels. The game laughs at you a lot. I don't know why it laughs at you. It has a hearty chuckle, an evil hearty chuckle at you sometimes. And I'm not really sure why, but it does. That's a book that is. I want that book. So that could be any sort of, you know, fire rate up or ability or something. So pick that book up. What do we have? Um, fires one laser. Yes. Okay. So our book fires a laser. You can replace the book with other books. I should have dashed through that, but I'm stupid. I thought it would miss me. I've still not got my head around the hitboxes and stuff. I've only played like one run in total. So I'll work out the hitboxes and stuff in due course. But as you see, you can dash through stuff. I think it feels like I'm dashing through it anyway. You got like iframes, and you go invisible as well. That kind of seems like iframes to me. <coughs> oh, I apologise for the coughing. I can't stop coughing. Very ill at the moment, but I'm fighting through it to get back on the old hobby horse and record some videos. But I'm glad you all asked me. I mean, you more you kind of strong armed me really. You didn't really ask. It was more like play this game or we'll fucking kill you. We'll come around and decap you. You didn't say that, but you know it felt like that. That's how the messages felt. Weighty messages saying you must play this game. So I thought, why not? I actually tried to get a copy of the game. The, the developers emailed me back in October. 
about the game, but I didn't email them back immediately. Like a month later, I was like, yeah, okay, I'll play your game, but they never, they never got back to me. Um, which is why I kind of fell off my radar. I kind of just forgot it existed until the other day when Northern Lion and Nick and Cobalt Street were playing it, and now everyone's like, "Fucking, you have to play this game." Ah, oh, fuck. Did I get it? No, I didn't get it. Ah, oh, yeah, this is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the chests. We have time. The darkness will be coming soon, but we've got time to investigate. Bit of money. That's all we need. There's another chest. I have to check it. More money. More money. Will be useful in the shops. Where was the exit again? It was over here, wasn't it? Ah, there's the exit there. Okay, there's another chest. I think we've killed everything. Thereabouts. Hmm. Alright. Let's get out of here before the the darkness. I'll show you. There it is there. If, if you stand in the darkness for too long, it'll start to damage you. <coughs> We're good! We're going to empty your memory. Remain empty your pockets. Indeed. Are you the shopkeeper? You don't seem too pleasant. Now, there's usually, like, a weird graphic effect where this green flickers and stuff. See, the game's laughing at me. Why are you laughing at me for? I don't get it. Did I say something funny? Um, yeah, it's usually, like, a weird flickering effect, almost like an old um, CRT monitor or television. But I turned it off because it would be weird for the encoding. The, the black bit around the edge of the screen is weird enough. The border is kind of strange. What's that noise? Things keep making noises and I have no idea what they mean. There must be some sort of relevance to them. Maybe it means I ended the level like I, I got enough stuff, maybe. Right, we want in there to see what's in the chest. Right, okay, so our first thing, we've got the golden monkey. Uh, I picked my idol, so all shall flee before you. Um, yes. So it gives us an effect. So if we press E, it does a thing. I assume it means the enemies literally run away. I think it just fucked them up. Hmm, interesting. Ah. Yeah, yeah. Or do they actually just legit run? So this one's a champion. He's got um more health. As you can see, he's quite a tanky fella. But he has money inside. What's that? Oh, and Jester, can you eat shit? So we get max HP, MP regen, and luck minus one. Fuck. We've lost a whole we've lost a whole red jelly. We need to get more red jelly. Ah, there's one there. Okay. Thankfully the red jelly does not despawn. Oh, it's a shop! Good, okay, we can buy stuff as well. We have 115. That's not gonna be enough to buy both. I'm not no, I don't think we'll buy both, but we can buy one of the chests, I think, if they're 70 each. Yeah, okay. We'll buy left. <laughs> Fucking rip-off. You are a rip-off merchant, my friend. You're a bad man. Um, I think we finished the level, did we? Is there a map? No, there's no map. It's a rather short level there. I love the pixel art eyes in the walls, man. They're pretty fucking funky. Gnarly bastards. So this is an old place. An ordered place. Do not be a disruption. I'll try not to again. And then after this level, we've got a boss. I feel significantly less powerful than I did in the last run. But this book might change things for us. Um, Bloodstained Bible? Yes, th this feels much better. So if you press um, escape and go into your thing, you can like view your, your items and what they do, so... <coughs> Again, I apologize for the call from Follower Fires Plague Bullets. Interesting. So our follower is this fella here, I think. Um, is it, though? Maybe we don't have a follower. Oh, he does. Yeah, he does. He fires Plague Bullets. Okay, good. Maybe the book's the follower. <laughs> Lol. Lol to you, too. Oh, it's, it's when champions arrive, they laugh. Fuck. Aye, so they run away when they're scared. Right, he's got a thing on him. We can eat the thing. Whatever you eat makes you stronger. We got a max HP of one. It's not exactly that good, really. Oh no, it is good. That's very good. 
I forgot our health points are like literally like one, two, and three. Now we've got one, two, three, and four. Fuck. This guy sucks. I hate that attack. Ah, oh, good, good, good. Nice. Oh, the axe! Is this- Yes, yeah, yes! Yeah, all the yeses. Now we've got a fucking axe. The axe is badass. So the axe fires big old axe bullets. Which is cool. It's exactly what you need on a day like today. I think it comes with like a- We'll, we'll look at the axe in a wee second, but it comes with like a multiplier. Or at least it gives you more damage. I can't remember if it's a multiplier or a plus. But it'll do. Alright. So I'll show you the, uh, the axe. <coughs> yeah, so it's a plus 0.5 damage. Your bullets are impactful. Fire them uh, in a blast. Become another. I don't know what the become another thing is. Um, but the axe is cool. I like it. Very good, solid play. We could use more jelly bits for our for our health. See, the game's laughing at me again. So this is kind of like um, oh, I've not fought this guy before actually. I fought I fought three individual guys in the past. All right. What did I get hit by? I disagree with whatever it was though. Alright. Yeah, we've got him. Nice. We got health. We got some monies. What do we get here? What is this thing? Move speed plus 10. I'll take it. So you ingest this stuff and you gain, you know, gain properties. Alright, that's the first world. It's the first area. It's not bad. I'm gonna get myself a drink actually. So when I first came here, I was like you, except stronger and better. Aye. I'm sure you were, fucking... We'll see about that, though. So this is the furthest I've been. This level, I think, is the furthest point. Should not be playing with one hand. Bad idea. So, you got fish, you got these fast fellas. I'm, like, way less strong than I was the time before. Which kind of concerns me. I'll need to actually try. I have more health. Man, the noise the fish make when they spew is pretty disgusting. Which is good. You want it, you don't want it to be like a kind of like a you want it to be a big disgusting sound. Do we have a champion or something? Red sword. Now your bullets are strange. I'm sure they are. I don't know what's better, axe or... Hmm. Oh. Is that a shop? So we haven't had any potions yet. Um, I don't know what they do specifically. Let's buy the pink one. And then I'll use it, I guess. See what it does. Oh, wait. You feel introspective about it. Zooms in. Some of them zoom in, some of them zoom out. Doesn't seem particularly helpful. Ah, oh, fuck. I wish there was a way to, you know, stop it <laughs> from being zoomed in. There we go. I have no idea if there's a benefit to that. Like, it zooms you in, but you get, like, a higher rate of fire or, you know, one of those things, but... Oh, he died. Okay, good. I should remember to, um, what's that? See, I've never seen one of these before. A potion that looks like, you know, like an ornate potion. Yeah, the game wasn't wrong. My bullets are strange. Ah, oh, fuck. Fuck. I like none of what happened there, but I'll accept it. And Jest! 
More movement speed is nice. Um, let's use it. Oh, it's bad. I regret everything. It brought everything back to life. Well, that's some bullshit, yo. I think we just leave, eh? Oh, wait, how did that get... Oh, fuck. Right, I'm gonna buy the, um... Oh, he's down there. Oh, wait, hold on. Ah, they only heal for half? That's where the discrepancy is coming from, I see. I'll buy you. <coughs> Back to full health. And we'll keep the strange sword. I think. Okay. I think this is the furthest I've been so far. So we expect badness. I guess now that I kind of know what to expect here, it's not that bad. Fuck. Ah, no. Okay. It's fine. So what do the swords do? They kind of rotate out in a circle? Which is kind of cool. I want more powers and things. I want more stuff. I think the powers are what remind me of uh, Dungeon Souls a lot, and how they function. So if I press E, it makes the enemies run away. They kind of all get scared of me. I don't blame them, I'd be scared of me too, someone with a big old strange sword coming at me. I'd be like, fuck this shit. Let's find out what the potion does. Your third eye opens. Okay. Sure that it does. Ah, being able to see further is actually pretty useful. Who's laughing though? I ain't laughing. Another sword? Oh fuck. Oh balls. Um Rain Death, yes. That sounds like it's good. Maybe, I don't know. Is it good? It is kinda good. I'm just like pissing pink balls everywhere. Nice. Fuck. Just money though? Where's the health? fuck is this? Yes, yeah, stoke the forge. Of course, stoke the forge. Why not? Did that take health off me? I don't know what stoking the for forge does. Ah! My hitbox is way bigger than I think it is. We died. Good. You do anything else. Oh, he's throwing stuff? Fuck him then. Leave him alone. Oh my god, he's got range of a thousand paces. His range is so big! Fuck it, we leave. <coughs> Why was his range so high? Right, I need health. One, one red cherry is not enough. What's this dog thing? Teleporting dogs and shit. Right, we need health. That's priority one. Priority one is health. Ah. Uh, and remember the mushrooms explode in the toxic clouds. That done nothing for me. Um. Okay, when he dies, run away, because you'll do bad things. <coughs> as long as you're prepared for it. Yes. Okay. Yes. Launch missile. Oh, health. Launch missiles. I think this one's better. 
Yes. Yes? Maybe yes? This one seems a little more direct. As long as I play this nice and nice and safe, we should be okay. So the dash is kind of like fish. It's like kind of like fish and roll. The gr what? The grey gug? I don't understand. Is there a thing at the top of the screen? Oh fuck! Is it this guy here? Fuck! I think it's this guy here. I think this guy's a bad man, and he means he means to kill us. Hmm. Fuck it! Fuck him! Leave him! Okay, this is a boss. Um. Was he in cesspool? Yes! Fishmen! Never not dodging. Dodge forever. Oh, he has a lot of health. I say never not dodging, then I don't dodge. I'm an idiot. That's bad. What? No! Oh, fucking. Spirit return to your body. I got. I think I got a better score though. I got a better score than the first time I run. Well, that's the uh, death tape. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know if you want to see more, and I will see you next time.